Hi boys and girls, it's Jane here. I hope you're all having fun at home with your mummies and daddies. And I can't wait to see you all very, very soon. I've got a wee story here for you called Snowball, written by Sue Hendra and Paul Linnett. I hope you all enjoy. Miles up, all alone, on a hill, looking down, a little round snowball gazed towards town. It looked so exciting, he wanted to play. It was time for some fun, and today was the day. If he stayed where he was, in the high mountain air, he had no one to play with, and that isn't fair. He made up his mind to go on a mission. The town would be fun, he had a suspicion. So off Snowball set with a jiggy jig jig, but he didn't catch sight of a pesky brown twig. That pesky old twig caused Snowball to stumble. The poor little fellow had taken a tumble. As he skied and bounced, what he didn't yet know was that as he rolled downwards, he'd pick up more snow. And as he rolled faster with grace and with vigour, he started to grow, getting bigger and bigger. He was picking up snow, bits and bobs, this and that. Pebble nose, sticky arms and a sheep for a hat. Oops, said the snowball, but what can I do? Bah, cried the sheep, who was stuck on like glue. More snow piled on as he carried on growing, faster and faster, no sign of him slowing. He was boiling and bouncing, down, 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 crashing and spinning, heading for town. Rabbits and flowers were in for a squashing and now he was heading for somebody's washing. Tumbling and twirling, faster and faster, oh my goodness, what a disaster. Some spectacles here, some sausage there, dozens of dogs and a big scary bear. Romantic couples out for a meal, an acrobat team, an electric eel. The mayor of the town, not her ladyship too. I know, Snowball, no, please don't visit the zoo. Squawking and roaring, growling and hooting, croaking and hissing, screeching and tooting. The Snowball was zooming as fast as a rocket, filling with stuff like a gigantic pocket. Zigging and zagging, down, 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 bashing and smashing through the small town. Still gathering snow, he shot past in a flash, and then all of a sudden, an almighty crash. Out flew a pebble, some sticks and a sheep. Out came some socks and some pants and a heap. Sausage, dogs and a big scary bear. A romantic couple with snow in their hair. The acrobat team, the electric eel, the mayor of the town spinning out like a wheel. And not to forget the whole of the zoo the snowball had managed to swallow that too. After all the commotion, the scene was Snow White. The end of the story, well, not yet, not quite. Unlike the beginning, as the story ends, our lonely young snowball has made lots of friends. Hope you've enjoyed that story, boys and girls, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.